You ready? Ready. Let me know when we are live. We're live? Yes, yes, Mr. Mayor. All right. Today is Monday, January 29th, 2024. It is now 6.02 p.m. And this is a special city commission meeting of the city of West Miami. This meeting is now called to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Madam Clerk, the roll call. Roll call. Mayor Eric Diaz Padron. Here. Vice Mayor Juan Blanes. Present. Commissioner Ivan Chavez Jr. Here. Commissioner Luciano Suarez. Yes. Mayor, you have quorum. Thank you. Next item. Public comments, item three. Anyone for public comments? Seeing none, next item. Item four, special agenda items. Item four, a discussion and possible appointment of commission member by mayor and city commission. All right, uh, Mr. City Attorney, we, I have an opinion from you that suggests we have a meeting. Uh, please give us some context. Yes, uh, pursuant to the charter, uh, there is a meeting scheduled for February 14, 2024. When a position of city uh, uh, commissioner has vacated, uh, the city commission before the election uh, have the right to uh, appoint uh, a uh, particular uh, individual to serve the term of the uh, deceased person on the next uh, uh, city election for commissioner. All right, thank you. That will be 3.02, is that correct, uh, Madam Clerk? 3.05. Oh, five. So, um, Obviously, we've uh, we've all we all know what, what happened to our our, uh, our friend, our dear friend Candabanca, and um, you know now we go to a familiar process that this city has uh, gone through many times, of uh, of looking to see if we fill a seat or not in appointment, right? Uh, right now we are in a pivotal pivotal time uh, in the year for us as a small city. Um, we're in the middle of a budget process in Tallahassee and the federal government, um, one that is going pretty well up to now, um, but we're gonna need all hands on deck uh, to secure the over a million dollars that we have uh, currently allocated, um, but that, you know, it uh, can be erased pretty quickly um, if, if we don't have the right relations in place. So um, with that, uh, I wanna open up to the table for discussion on, um, you know, the potential appointment of commission member tonight. So. Who wants to uh, lead the discussion? <coughs> Go ahead, Commissioner. I want to give my opinion, and, and based also on the city attorney's opinion, I, I do tend to defer that to, to him as a subject matter expert. Right now, our city has a lot of exciting and positive things going on. We just had our first state of the city address. Over 300 residents came out and enjoyed that and heard the mayor speak on a lot of the things that we have done in the past and a lot of the exciting things coming now in the future as well. With that being said, we have many boards here in the city. We have a lot of residents that are involved in those boards and we get to sit up here in front of the commission or in front of the city as commissioners as the face of a lot of these projects and exciting things that are, that are getting done. But these board members are behind the scenes working just as hard as we are and they don't get the recognition that, that we do. So. The residents on those boards, it's a thankless position. It's volunteer as well. We also have residents that are very involved at the county level. They may not be on boards, but they're very involved at the county level and in, in our schools as well. But there is one resident in particular that I want to highlight because this resident is involved not only on our boards, having served on, I believe, all of our boards, even in 2022 when I chaired the 75th anniversary and the, the uh, 75th anniversary committee, 4th of July committee, this resident was on that as well. Our kids also coincidentally go to school together. And in that school, we go to plays to watch our son perform. And there's a little section in the front there that's cordoned off for special types of parents, the types of parents that go above and beyond 
the types of parents that when we sit back and we see you know, the, behind the stage, there's a bunch of artwork and things that are done. These parents spent countless hours volunteering to make sure that the stage looked beautiful and the kids were prepared. In that section, this specific person was sitting there as well because aside from being a parent there, they go above and beyond in that location as well and making sure that that school and the performance were a success. So this person I'm gonna give my opinion on is, and basically I, I would like this person to be appointed is because they're not gonna just sit in the seat that's open over there, sadly, that it's open. They are gonna go, as they've already proven, on our boards here at the county level as well and in the school systems with their children, that they're gonna go above and beyond every chance they get to make sure that whatever it is that they're involved with is going to succeed and be the best that it can be. So in my opinion, the person that I think we should appoint is Natalie Million. Okay, does anyone else have a discussion on that? Go ahead, Commissioner. Oh, go ahead, Vice Mayor. Well, I'd like to add to yours that um, you're talking about Natalie Millian. And I remember a, year, a couple of years ago, I had to nominate somebody for one of the boards. That was many years, not many, but some years ago. And I remember I was very proud to nominate Natalie for that board. And she did a wonderful work she was very, very, very fine. She's a very educated girl. I call girl because she's a girl. I miss a young girl. It could be my, her father is there. So uh, she's a very well-educated girl, very well prepared with experience. So I think it's a great, great um, nomination. I, I, oh, I, 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 I mean, I think uh, if I have to make my vote, I, I just vote now for her. Yeah, uh, I just want to make sure everyone gets their comments on the record. Vice Mayor, go ahead. I, <clears throat> thank you. I agree with my colleagues uh, wholeheartedly. Um, although I, I'd like to say that, that there's, there's other residents that, that have also served that are, that are just as qualified, but there's a distinction with uh, Natalie. Natalie has been serving for many, many, many years. Uh -huh. And uh, we think alike. You know, that's, that's, that's the most important thing to me. <laughs> she cares about this city, uh, qu quality of life. You know, as I sit here, I've sat here for many years, and my, my main impetus of, of serving has been quality of life. What can I do? What can I say? What can we legislate to make everyone's life better, safer? cleaner and, and quieter. So um, with that said, um, I, I would welcome uh, with open arms Natalie to serve on this commission with us. So I tend to agree with all of you and I'll put may, my may, thoughts may, on there. May, yeah, go may, ahead, may, go, ahead. Uh, go ahead. I, I just, uh, her father is my old friend for many years, but uh, I also call Natalie a girl, but she's a mother. She has two children, beautiful, and they are uh, residents of West Miami. So everything uh, she has been doing has been doing in favor of the city, really. Yeah, so on, 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 that, on that note, I would say um, I, I know Natalie and her family and her husband and her family in particular for, for a very long time. And no one in the last decade has been more active in the city of West Miami. Um, in service to the city. Um, she served on two shorter review boards. I know she was appointed by you on the first one, she was appointed by me in the second one. Um, she served on the Code Enforcement Board, served on the Planning and Zoning Board, served on the 75th Anniversary Task Force um, and uh, Fourth of July uh, Committee. Um, you know, just going above and beyond uh, in her service to the city. Um, but not only that, but also having the experience of government. I mean, you said she's a very educated girl, and I, and you know, I would agree she has a master's in public administration, um, you know, from FIU, and uh, and has served in many different political roles and political offices. So, we're going to be getting uh, with her with her nomination a very um, seasoned person who can hit the ground running immediately for our city, and um, and can really help us where uh, where we need it, which is at the different levels of government and, and the small town issues. That Vice Mayor Blanes, I, I know, I know she shares probably a lot of uh, thought process with you on quality of life um, and really details. 
So I would, uh, I'd be remiss though if I didn't, uh, I see someone who walked in, uh, County Commissioner Kevin Cabrera uh, sitting in the back there. And I, you know, I know we work together so much and anyone who works, you know, who sits on this commission has to deal with him quite a bit. Uh, do, you, do you want to add anything before we uh, move the discussion along? Thank you for your visit. <laughs> Commissioner District 6. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, members of the commission and the folks that came out here today. And uh, we're, we're never too far as our office is uh, right down the street, as uh, I know the mayor used to watch down on us from his apartment, um, make sure we were keeping West Miami a priority. But um, first of all, I'd like to start off by, I think, you know, I'd like to uh, make sure, you know, a recognition of, of, Co of Commissioner Candida Blanca and her many years of service. I know since 2010 she served in um, served distinguishedly and you know it's again it's it's an unfortunate situation that we find ourselves here today hopefully we still had her with us and, and again prayers to her and her family and, and again many thanks for her and her service but but I would echo your sentiments um, I know that Natalie has served I believe since nearly a decade since 2017 on I think almost every board you guys have had um, know her to be a, a distinguished individual has served like again you know many folks you know, when, when it comes to public service and public life, um, might not necessarily have served on a board, which as, as you guys said earlier today, and as I know from the county's road, sometimes it's, it's these positions that don't get the recognition, but that really do a lot of the hard work that, that sometimes we elected officials get the credit for, but it's really them behind the scenes doing many of the, uh, the great work and volunteer hours and making sure that, that things work, that work and run smoothly. Um, so I, again, I would agree with what you guys said. You know, I know that she, She's a good example of West Miami. You know, she's lived here for many years, raising her family here. Um, I think she has a wonderful husband. It depends on the day. <laughs> but honestly, I know that Natalie loves West Miami. Natalie is West Miami. So again, I would echo your sentiments and, and encourage you all um, that that is a good decision. And I know that she will make us all proud. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Can, can I add? Go ahead, Fire Vice Mayor. Uh, echoing some of the commissioner's words, uh, one observation that I've had about Natalie is that she doesn't say too much. She's uh, soft-spoken, but boy, her actions speak louder than words. And the old uh, adage, uh, speak softly and carry a big stick, that, that applies to her. You know, she, and, 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 and people that, that are like that, you know, that's, that, that's what character and integrity and, and courage is all about. Um, their actions speak for themselves, and, and that's one observation that I made through the years about Natalie. Well, uh, I know we have a code enforcement board, actually, which I know, Natalie, I'm sure you don't miss too much, uh, at 6.30. So we are running a time crunch, and it seems that, uh, you know, it, you know there, it's, it's, great, it's great when you have a situation where there's, you know, a no-brainer. Um, and, and, you know, it's very rare times the government where everyone can, we can agree on something. So does anyone want to move this discussion forward? I'll make a motion. I second we the motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Um, Madam Clerk, um, well, state your motion very specifically just so. I make the motion to appoint Natalie Million to the vacancy to City of West Miami Commission. Thank you. And I second that motion. We have a second. Uh, Madam Clerk, would you call the roll? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Suarez. Yes. Commissioner Chavez. Yes. Vice Mayor Blanes. Yes. Mayor Diaz Padron. Yes. Four zero item passes. Thank you. Now, you don't get to sit up here yet. There's uh, some paperwork, which we'll have to get done. Uh, Madam Clerk, would that be something you can accomplish uh, at this meeting? Yes, Mr. Mayor, if you allow me just five minutes, I can prepare the oath and come back to one minister, the oath to, to Ms. Mignan. Absolutely, let's take a five minute break. Thank you.
You ready? All right, everyone, could you take your seats, please? Can everyone take their seats? Commissioner, that includes you, man. Let's go. <laughs> also, other commissioner. Vamos. All right, Madam Clerk, talk to us. Um, yes, Mr. Mayor, I prepared um, the oath, and it is my understanding the city attorney has uh, a request to make. Go ahead, Mr. Attorney. The resolution of the City Commission of the City of West Miami is setting forth a special uh, commission meeting for the purpose of selecting a qualified candidate to fill the, the vacancy uh, left by a passing Boulevard Commissioner, uh, Candia Blanca, providing for effective date. Uh, pursuant to section 30.45, parent C, parent 1, vacancy uh, filling uh, requires as follows. If a vacancy occurs in the city of council within 120 days before the regular election, the council may, by majority a vote of the council, appoint a qualified person to fill such vacancy until the next regular election. Pursuant to the votes uh, taken by the commissioner, After careful consideration of the uh, review and potential candidate, uh, fill the vacancy of commissioner, uh, the mayor and city commissioner of the city of West Miami. After reviewing the extraordinary curriculum vita for Natalie Milian Orvis as a task here, demonstrate an exemplary uh, commitment of public uh, service, especially uh, to the city of West Miami, finds Natalie uh, Milian Orvis as a suitable candidate and uh, appointed commissioner to the term uh, remainder for the Commissioner City uh, uh, Candidate of Blank. Okay, that Oath. resolution was not included in the original agenda. So Mr. Mayor, uh, we recommend you, you uh, vote for to include the resolution sure. and then vote for the resolution. Absolutely. Um, we get a motion to include it on the agenda. This requires a four, four fifths vote, so it requires unanimous vote. Motion to include the resolution on the agenda. We have a second on that motion. Second. We have a second. Uh, call the roll. Commissioner Suarez. Yes. Commissioner Chavez. Yes. Vice Mayor Blanes. Yes. Mayor Diaz Padron. Yes. Four zero item passes. All right. And the item has been added to the agenda. Go, go ahead. And for the resolution, uh, we need a we need vote for to approve the resolution. Correct. Uh, can we get a motion on the resolution? Motion on the resolution. Second. All right, call the roll again. Yes, uh, Commissioner Ch Suarez, how do you vote? Yes. Commissioner Chavez? Yes. Vice Mayor Blanes? Yes. Mayor Diaz Patron? Yes. For zero, item passes. Thank resolution you. That ratifies, that ratifies the previous resolution, well, previous intent. Yes, Mr. Mayor. All right. And now we proceed to, to administering the oath to, to Natalie Milian. Okay, well, would you please come to the front? Sure. Would Natalie and anybody else who wishes to uh, join her?
Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to the panel. Take your seat. Commissioner. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. And uh, at this time, uh, Commissioner Melian, would you like to say some words? I do have some words, and Go ahead. I'm sorry that you yours. have a meeting at 6.30 because <laughs> I have some words. Um, fellow residents and distinguished members of the Commission, I am truly honored to accept the role of Commissioner for the City of West Miami. This isn't just an office for me. It's an extension of the very streets where my family and I have built our lives, where our children are growing and where our community comes together. My vision is clear. West Miami should be a city where families are the number one priority, where children have every opportunity to thrive where public safety is at the forefront and where we per preserve our small town. Mi visión es clara. West Miami debe ser una ciudad donde las familias son la prioridad, donde nuestros niños tienen todas las oportunidades de prosperar, donde la seguridad pública está al frente y donde protegemos el carácter residencial de nuestra comunidad. West Miami Family First, Families First is not just a slogan. It's a principle that will guide my decisions and actions as your commissioner. Las familias de West Miami, primero, no solo es un eslogan. Es el principio que guiará mis decisiones y acciones como su comisionada. As we work towards this vision, I would like to honor the memory of the late commissioner Candida Blanca, a true public servant whose smile and warmth touched the lives of countless in our community. I am most inspired by her friendship and the incredible support she had for our police officers. Chief Avila, Deputy Chief Delgado, and Captain Valencia, you all have my complete and total support. I am your champion, and I will continue to build upon Commissioner Blanca's legacy. Commissioner Suarez, our relationship has come full circle. You appointed me to my first city board long ago, and I had the pleasure of working and learning from your daughter, Burita, a former West Miami commissioner. I feel blessed to join you now on this dignified body. Thank you for your leadership, for always representing the interests of our city at the Miami-Dade County League of Cities. Your work to promote West Miami is worthy of commendation. Commissioner Chavez, I deeply admire your passion for public service and the incredible legacy of service demonstrated by your family that you bring to our commission. Having you on this board has brought a renewed energy and focus to our parks our events, and the overall health and well-being of our community. I know that together we can really make a positive difference in the lives of our families. Vice Mayor Blanes, thank you for your courage. You have always stood up and defended us. You are truly our gatekeeper. You are not political. You cut straight to the point, and I deeply appreciate your honesty and integrity. Know that I am here to support your efforts to make West Miami the best place to live, work, and raise our families. Mayor Diaz Padron, what can I say? Like Commissioner Chavez, your family's legacy to public service is inspiring. You are this city's statesman and a tenacious force for good. You took the reins of our city and steered us in the direction of progress and prosperity. We now have more police, bigger and better events, a more responsive government, and lower taxes. Thank you for your dedication to transforming West Miami and ushering in the dawn of a new day. To County Commissioner Kevin Marino Cabrera, thank you for being here today. I am beyond honored by your support and faith in me. I draw inspiration from your energy and passion for helping our community. I aim to follow in your steps and fight for the values that make our nation great. Thank you for always putting Miami-Dade first. Also, please take care of Manny and Bubio. <laughs> To manager, City Manager Silva, City Attorney Villalobos, City Clerk Alfonso, and all of our incredible West Miami employees, you are all the unsung heroes who keep our city running smoothly every day. Whether it's fixing roads, keeping our parks beautiful, or making sure our trash is collected, 
your work doesn't go unnoticed. I'm looking forward to working with you to make West Miami even better. Thank you for all that you do. Commissioners, I'm grateful for your trust, which reflects my commitment to our city and community. As a member of the Planning and Zoning Board, I defended neighborhoods and residential, the residential character of our community. On the Charter Review Task Force, I work to align our city's guiding principles with the values we hold dear. In my role on the Code Enforcement Board, I worked with residents to fix their issues in a way that safeguards their finances. And my participation on the 4th of July and 75th Anniversary Planning Committee allowed me to contribute and honor, to our, our, and honor our rich history. From my early days with the Cuban American Association of Civil Engineers, to advising three county commissioners on policy and legislation, and now working for nearly a decade in our county's Office of Community Advocacy, I have been deeply invested in our governance with a commitment to ethics. However, it's the daily connections with you, our West Miami community, that is the true heartbeat of my dedication to public service. Thank you for the trust you've placed in me. I will serve with a heart full of passion, a mind focused on practical solutions, and a commitment as strong as the roots that tie us to this wonderful city. So, to every hardworking mom and dad, and to the seniors who've built this community, to the young adults forging their path right here in West Miami, I am here for you. Así que a cada madre y padre que lucha por sus hijos, las personas mayores que han construido esta comunidad, y a los jóvenes que están creando su camino en West Miami, estoy aquí para ustedes. Together, we will build a city that looks after our seniors, invest in our youth, and truly puts West Miami families first. Juntos formaremos una, ciud una ciudad que cuida a las personas mayores, invierte en nuestra juventud, y realmente pone a las familias de West Miami en primer lugar. Last but not least, I'd like to thank my friends and family, especially my mom and dad. Gracias por siempre estar a mi lado. Los quiero y trabajaré para ser una fuente de orgullo para nuestra familia. To my dear husband, Manny, Thank you for your unstoppable support, your strength, and for being my number one defender and cheerleader. To Elisa Manolito, Mama te quiere mucho. Thank you, and may God bless you. May God bless the great city of West Miami. Que Dios nos bendiga a todos. Muchas gracias. Well, with that, um, let's, uh, let's go through the order of the agenda. Next item. Item five, food of the order. Does anyone have anything to go to the order? I can't, I can't get more good than that. So uh, what's the next item? Item six, adjourn. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Meeting adjourned. Thank you. All right. Thank you.